are here for another edition of the Freaky Film Club. And this time, romance is back in the air as we're taking a look at My Bloody Valentine from 1981. And I am, of course, joined by my friend, Colin Schmitz. Hi, Colin. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. How about you, buddy? That's going very well. That's well. good. Mm-hmm. So we, you know, about a year ago, we took a look at the 3D version of this film. And uh, now we're going backwards. So oh, yeah. we're going to take a look at the Canadian 1981 version very heavily Canadian. It seemed like to me, at least (laughs) (laughs) I I heard a lot of accents. (laughs) Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about (laughs) that. So sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, this was, uh, of course, my bloody Valentine written, uh, by a gentleman named John B. Beard. I don't know if that's correct, but I'm going to say it anyways. (laughs) And, uh, directed by George, (laughs) (laughs) Meh, meh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, couldn't tell you how to say that last time. And uh, this is his only big movie I can test. It seems like to me, I mean, he did other stuff, but I don't recognize any of it. So, uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, I guess he didn't really go on to do much, but um, <laughs> Yeah, so this movie was uh, pretty interesting. I mean, especially compared to the 09 version, because I did notice some differences. I did too. And I mean, I'm sure we can kind of like get into some of the major ones as we go along, but um, it was kind of cool. I noticed the first thing was that like they kept the names for the most part, like a lot of character names. They did. So that was easy. That was, I'm glad they did that. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) And um, yeah, I guess I suppose like there really isn't much preface here. Like unlike Jason X, where I went on like a big rant about it. Like, I guess we (laughs) we can just dive into this one. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So it opens up in the mine. And this is, I guess, in the 1960s, I guess. Like it's showing a flashback of... Harry Warden is that his name? I think it yes. is. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's about to get it on with some lady. We don't really know what like led them to the circumstances. I mean, if well, if he was the killer, oh, go ahead. What, what do you think that was Harry Warden? Or are you are we expect thinking that was? Right? Well, I would think so, just because I thought this was the flashback scene right away. But did you think some there was someone else? No, it, it is. Well, I don't, it was that would be Axel. No, not Axel, but uh, who is it? Is it Axel? Yeah, it's Axel. Yeah, that was Axel. In the that was Axel scene. at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Not I thought here. I thought that was supposed to be like a taking place in the sixties. For okay, okay. I'm right just letting you know because that was where the heart came from. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. The box. Okay. Oh, I'm glad that you. Yeah. That told me that because yeah, I thought that <laughs> they were just showing like a quick thing from like the back in the day, and then like I was gonna break it down and be like, "How stupid is this? <laughs> How do they even it know each so, other?" <laughs> still funny though. Like, <laughs> yeah. That. Oh god, that scene was funny. Like, why? Why the mind? Why? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what? What is so sexy about this mind? Right. Like there's so many people that get turned on in this movie <laughs> by being in the deep, dark cavern. Right? <laughs> I, I love how she's like just caressing his like tube right? on the mask. <laughs> I know. She had some real fetish there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they get right to the point basically. And, and oh, yeah. He, she gets stabbed with the, with the oh, pickaxe. Yeah. And then we cut to the title sequence by Bloody Valentine. Mm-hmm. And, um, so then we get our character intros real quick in the mine. Um, you get this just crazy group of people. Like it, they're yelling and screaming and like 
making jokes and being very inappropriate. Mm-hmm. And um, you don't really like, it's hard to like know what a lot of the side characters names are until like the very end. Like, I don't feel like they That's get true. addressed very often. Mm-mm. So I'll, I'll probably be referring to a lot of these people as like glasses guy and douchebag. Glasses guy, <laughs> mustache guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole prankster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, they kind of are getting done with their work for the day and, and they head over to um, like a VFW hall. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's really cool. Again, we have like the really cool like small town. And I, I like, I'm sure I mentioned this in the other Bloody Valentine movie, but like I love that vibe of just like, yeah, yeah here we are in this quaint, you know, town. And I would say retro, but it was modern for them because it was the 80s yeah. so yeah <laughs> um, but yeah so they're in this like hall setting up for the valentine's day dance and um we are introduced to um the mayor uh the, the chief who i'm gonna probably keep calling the sheriff because i think it was a sheriff in the other movie Mm-hmm. Played by the great Tom Atkins. <laughs> I, <am. laughs> I don't know who plays this guy, but uh, <laughs> one thing I actually did notice that was funny about the opening credits was like special guest, this guy. It's like, what? <laughs> so, so when do they do that? At right. Movies? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like none of these other people were special enough to be considered no. like special mm-hmm. guests. <laughs> They're just nobodies. <laughs> um, and then there's a, uh, um a woman named mabel and is she in the other movie i don't think so i, I don't think... remember her at all yeah i didn't either like i this whole thing it kind of seemed uh to be like a separate little storyline with her like she was the mm-hmm. one setting it up and, and i if i remember correctly from the other one like they were kind of just things were just set up there wasn't like yeah. an explanation it was like yeah we're just having a party that's true yeah yeah. So then they must have replaced Mabel with that uh, little person. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying um, to find her cat or something. Yeah. Her dog. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. Um, so, yeah. So they, they're kind of setting up and then everyone kind of walks in and, and Mabel gets scared by this dude who's like pranking her with like fake blood on his face. And it's like, it kind of a sociopath. Like, <laughs> know, right? <laughs> like he goes from that, which is like really a very extreme prank to play on somebody, and then like the oh, next, yeah. like a few minutes later, he's like, "Oh, here, Mabel, let me help you out. Here, I got something for you." Like he's just so like totally chill. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess to her credit, she's like pretty cool about the whole thing. So maybe True. things were a little more relaxed back then. <laughs> But like, supposedly he got a bunch of paint all over her, like, decorations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which she was not happy about. Right. Yes. That's that's a, that's a no-no. Mm-hmm. She slaved away for weeks to put this shit together. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Even though everything is, like, a mixture of red and pink. Like, how dare mm-hmm. you get more red on this red stuff? <laughs> um, then... You have, well, there's that whole scene where, like, the dude's dancing with the fake cutout and the, the chief's like, knock it off. <laughs> I, I've noticed there's just a lot of, like, random shit like that in this movie. It's like, there is really not a lot of development. It's just people, like, with one liners and jokes and being dummies. <laughs> it really kind of reminded me of a Friday the 13th film, actually, like, in the, in the best way possible. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, well, I'll definitely point to some more examples of that as we continue forward. Um, So this is uh, the point where the mayor gets the heart fox. Oh, yeah. So um, this also happened in the uh, remake, but it only happened once in the remake, if I remember correctly. I can't. When did it happen in the remake? So it happened. Can't think of it. 
It happened really <laughs> early. Like I'm pretty sure this is it's the point where he drops the line, "Happy fucking Valentine's." Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it in the hospital? Maybe I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. that scene after that big like Happy massacre. Fucking Valentine. That's right. It <laughs> yeah. was. So that's, right. that's one thing this this movie was missing. They didn't get that line. <laughs> yeah, I know. They should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead, it's more just like a... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think my reaction was probably stronger than that dude in the car. I don't think he was really that all, all that reactive to it. I think he was just more like, mm-hmm. oh, my God. A heart <laughs> yeah, in a right. box. <laughs> <laughs> It was like when that girl from Jason X found out that she was in the future. <laughs> <laughs> For that scene, like, you know, they turned around. Like, sometimes you wonder, was that dog, like, not even part of this the scene? And it just, like, wasn't supposed to be, and it just was the dog that was chasing after the car. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. Like, or why, why did they put that in? Like, you know? That's a good point. Like, yeah, why? What would be the purpose if not? It's just like an just error. an accident. Yeah, yeah. Like and it they was were... just like a dog that was there. Like, all right, just attack the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So and they were just funny. burning film, so they were like, oh, I guess we have to do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> this damn dog. <laughs> Which is funny. It's like uh, makes you wonder about if those dogs were supposed to be around that heart box later too. Then yeah, I know, right? <laughs> They're ferocious. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. And it's funny. Like it's um, interesting that you bring that up because it was shot uh, on location, mm-hmm. like in Nova Scotia. So like okay. uh, anything that happened in the area probably was happening. Mm-hmm. So yeah, <laughs> it probably was <laughs> part of the scene. Like yeah. just like. Not expect they weren't expecting it, but it happened. It worked yeah. out perfect if they did. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so he reacts to that, and um, later they cut to the bar, and everyone's kind of partying after work at the local bar. Which th- this is really a lot of stuff in this reminds me of like our hometown. Mm-hmm. Like you had all the working people, the blue collar people that all meet at the pub, and everyone knows yeah. each other. Uh, there's just a bunch of wacky characters. People are like laughing and joking and being really loud. And the accents are pretty close. I mean, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Canada. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is great. You've got the, um, <laughs> there's so much fucking awesome stuff in this movie. <laughs> I love this movie. It really is. I, I really do think it's better than the 3D version for sure. Yeah, I, really I would agree with like that. It. I would agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so you've got the bartender who goes into the backstory. That's that's where we find out about the mm-hmm. massacre that happened so 20 years ago. Um, and it's a pretty similar story to the remake um, mm-hmm. in terms of like there was a collapse. Uh, Harry made it out and then he went to an institution and then he got revenge on people after escaping from the institution. <laughs> and that's about the gist of it. I mean... And somehow it's something again that like everyone knows about, but no one wants to talk about. Yeah. But it's the guy. <laughs> I just laughed about this. The bartender, just Mr. Scrooge there. Yeah. He was, <laughs> he was really funny. Yeah, he was. He reminded me of, uh, I don't know if you remember crazy Ralphie from Friday the 13th, but he's the dude who's like, remember. he's the guy I that, don't- Pre warns everybody. He's like, "You're all doomed." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And so yeah, he kind of is. He's the uh, guy who's like, "Don't say I didn't warn you." And yeah, he is a Scrooge. I mean, he does not want anyone mm-hmm. to have any fun. No, should not be working in the uh, service industry. <laughs> he should not be working. He was grumpy. <laughs> yeah. And I thought that dude's reaction after the story was perfect. Like where he just like right. pops up, he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the guy, obviously the bartender gets pissed. And um, mm-hmm. for some reason I wrote, these guys are just insane. I don't know what they did after that, but 
they're, like they just continue <laughs> to like have all this weird, these like weird lines. And oh, <laughs> I remember they like break out into a song. <laughs> oh, yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> After he like harasses this like waitress. And she's just like, oh, you guys. <laughs> that was so random. <laughs> yeah. And they all just knew like it was time to sing. Like, right? oh, here we go. It's time for our annual fucking piss everyone off in town song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. And I think the song, was it about Harry? I um, I don't remember. Yeah, it sounded like I would have like, <laughs> <laughs> like it sounded like they were like dropping references to Harry Warden in a song. <laughs> I have to go back to it. That's funny. <laughs> um, so then for the first time, we kind of learn about um, TJ and Axel and the kind of TJ's history mm-hmm. and how TJ was with Sarah. But now Axel's with Sarah, so you have the love triangle, like like yep. the remake. Mm-hmm. Which I, you know, so. it's funny that we're doing this in reverse. We should have been like saying the remake, like this part <laughs> from <laughs> the old one. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I guess you know you're just gonna have to deal with it, people. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's very similar in, in the fact that there's the love triangle going on. Um, but I, you know. They spent a lot less time, I think, building up the whole story because in the remake you have, and I don't even know, it might be TJ and in, in the remake might be a different name. It doesn't matter. For the purposes of this, we're just going to say the character names from the 80s version. The, the remakes, I think the same. Okay. I thought really, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so for for this one, they just kind of get more right into it. It's a lot more direct, I felt. Whereas Mm -hmm. the other one you've got, you know, TJ, he's coming back into town. I think you actually see him like arrive. Um, And and then he, he has like a meeting with that dude about like, you know, signing the, the the mine over and there's like that whole subplot. Yeah. This one, it's more just like, I'm here. (laughs) I've been (laughs) here the whole time. and (laughs) Now we're just going to like, force feed you this whole plot like within two right. seconds <laughs> and um yeah so um obviously there's a lot of friction tj and axel and um, very so lots yeah. of friction and um so now we cut to uh the coroner's office i think oh, so heart, and right. they learn it's a real oh, heart yeah and the dude is just like playing with it. It's like, you got a real heart here, huh? <laughs> you got a real problem there. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's wrong with your town? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing with this? <laughs> yeah. Um, at first, I didn't even think he had gloves on, but he did. They were just, they just looked like really thin and like skin tight. But um, yeah. So. As if they really needed to analyze it. Right. You find out yeah. it is real. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, and it, that's about really all that happens at that point. There's like, that's kind of a quick scene. And then um, now we cut to uh, Mabel's laundromat, which again, this is a whole new thing or an old thing, depending on how you mm-hmm. want to look at it. <laughs> and uh, Mabel is, uh, you know, kind of decorating things, just doing whatever at the laundromat, and she gets killed. Mm-hmm. And she finds a heart shaped box, actually. So that's kind of like a calling card for this killer. That's like he leaves that behind for everything. Oh, yeah. And um, it's a pretty quick death. Uh, I mean, there's nothing like too crazy about it. As far as I remember, like a lot of these are just kind of like boom, ba boom. And I have a reason behind that. Okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't have the reason, but the motion pictures for America had a reasoning behind all these short deaths it was all, all these deaths were like actually longer and there's outtakes of them on youtube so we gotta really? watch them a- after this fuck yeah because um like 
the where that warden comes in looking for Mabel and uh-huh. the, like for, for some reason she's still in the fucking laundromat after like the night it's she had like five things to wash and she's still in there but he's like Mabel and it's like morning <laughs> <laughs> right yeah <laughs> is, she, is that her job like I don't well know. I think but, if you look at the building at the end of the Mabel? scene it, it, she owns it I think she owns oh, okay it. okay yeah, that's yeah. why okay yeah. I was confused on that part yeah so um yeah like when she he opens like he's like looking for her and then the dryer opens on that scene it's just like the body for like two seconds yeah but like on the outtake one like but they had to cut it it's like her spinning around <laughs> and like the whole like like um like you can see the whole like corpse and shit oh and that's awesome cool. yeah they were the MPAA were such bastards, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that happened with a lot mm-hmm. of uh, Jason movies. Like, yeah, it's um, crazy. Yeah, it's that, that's unfortunate. It's like I guess it's just job security. Like they had to cut something, or else what was the point of them existing? <laughs> but, but, why make this and not just have the whole scenes? You know? Right, exactly. Like it's the modern update. Put them in I there. Had to, I had to find that out just watching an, another youtube video and like they're like yeah they took it out like come on that's really lame mm-hmm. i did it did that to get uh i'm glad you mentioned that i mean it's like that makes a lot of sense now as to why things just seem to go so like the pacing mm-hmm. of the kills were just like oh yeah boom boom boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah and it wasn't even set up in a way like if I could compare this to the first episode we did which um we did an episode about black Christmas and like okay. in that one you know, they intentionally leave a lot of stuff up to your imagination. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, the kills do still take a little bit of time to develop, but yeah. it, it's cool the way they're shot. They make your brain kind of fill in the blanks, but okay. this one, it's clear that like something was supposed <laughs> to be there. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's interesting. Yeah. I can't wait to see those, the extended yeah. versions. That's cool. Yeah. So, so she gets killed and um, then, uh, Let's see here. Um, oh, yeah. So I, I wrote down, what the fuck are these guys talking about? They're like huddled around a running engine. Um, so we're outside of like a junkyard or something or oh, yeah. a parking mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, that's that's kind of where we are in the same night. And it's, it cuts back. To yeah, us. that's true. Mm-hmm. Friends. Yeah. And they're like cooking something on like a car engine or something. And the dude's yeah, like, right. oh, I'm no turkey. You're a turkey, eh? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> and I swear, like, I'm sure a lot of this this dialogue seems like it had to be improv because right. like, <laughs> like, there's just no rhyme or reason. Like when they cut <laughs> back to like the scene um, where... Uh, Axel and TJ are in the car. Like Axel's like playing the harmonica. They're yeah. literally just. It sounds like they're just mumbling at that point. Like they're in the background <laughs> just mumbling. <laughs> yeah, I bet they are. <laughs> so, so yeah. So then we get more action with um, Axel and TJ. Uh, it's more of like a. It's it's not really a confrontation so much as it is like a. I guess kind of a chat. I think. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of she. He's, she's just like, hey, she's with me now. Deal with it. And TJ's like, ah, <laughs> fuck you, you eh? You know <laughs> <laughs> TJ's um, not happy. No, he is not. What, I don't understand what you expect. You just leave. <laughs> yeah, just disappear. <laughs> like, yeah. How dare you, Sarah? <laughs> this, Why did you just wait for me? This is the big problem with that plot. I mean, and then same thing with the remake. It's just like, you can't just go away forever and expect it to be normal. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Have you watched Castaway? Come on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) He just said, fuck it. He's dead. (laughs) (laughs) Time to move on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I honestly, if I was in Sarah's position, the longest I'd be willing to wait is like, and it depends on even like the circumstances because it, if they just, if he broke up with her and just disappeared, mm-hmm. then like I give it zero days. Yeah. <laughs> like right. I'm ready to move on instantly. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. there is no like, oh, well, maybe he'll come back. <laughs> He's going to come back. 
um so yeah it's it is pretty ridiculous but that aside uh there is still the love triangle and so the next day this is awesome it just so happens to fall on friday the 13th so we get a little bit of a bonus uh friday the 13th action going on here (laughs) whether that was intentional or not you know i don't know but Mm -hmm. uh yeah um, it just so happens that the friday the 13th is before the saturday the 14th dance so um now we are at i think they're back at the bar no 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 they're it's it's at the police station my bad yep um and uh they call the institution um the chief calls the institution to try to get more information about harry ward and she's like hey can't help you you're shit out of luck eh (laughs) (laughs) Um, cause basically they have no record, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like she says, scene. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't help you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think she's like, she even mentions like, you can feel free to like, look it up or she's like, I could do that, but it'll take like another like five weeks or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so she was no help. No, kind of not funny. at all. Yeah. And then she like even like she just looked so annoyed at the end of the phone oh, call. Yeah, she, she like did. rolled her eyes. And she like, <laughs> Who is this asshole? <laughs> so yeah, I can you know relatable. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I at times you know, especially back in like the retail days, would get calls yeah. that I didn't want to take. <laughs> especially at Black Friday, you're like, God, stop. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, we have deals on TVs, people. Come on, right? Come on. <laughs> don't you get a circular <laughs> <laughs> or like you in the deli getting calls about mm-hmm. uh, long ass orders when, mm-hmm. when like you're about to close or whatever, what other adventures you got into. <laughs> oh yeah. Plenty. <laughs> I still remember like that, that funny story about you uh, accidentally hanging up on that lady. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. <laughs> right. Not at all. <laughs> It was a you disconnected. It was a disconnection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so that lady's no help. And then um Sarah talks to Patty about the romantic situation. Um, they're kind of like walking outside of, of a storefront. And she's like, Oh, who are you gonna pick? <laughs> and Sarah's having a difficult time, and uh, you know, I get it. Axel's really mm-hmm. handsome, but but TJ's really got a nice. He's he's got a, he's got an edge to him. <laughs> oh yeah, so he must have an edge. He must something uh, something. He must be loaded. <laughs> he must have a yeah. horse cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, but yeah, so it's difficult for Sarah right at the moment. I mean, it doesn't. It comes a little. It becomes a little more clear later, but um. um then at this this next scene, uh, this, and by the way, this all is like, I feel like it moves along pretty quickly. Like it does, which is not a bad thing. No, no. Um, but uh, next we kind of cut to, not kind of, we really do, <laughs> we really do <laughs> cut to the laundromat. <laughs> yeah, the body is discovered, and like like yep. you said, it it should have been longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should have. But. Uh, Basically, we have like um, sort of like a cover-up situation here. Yep, that's true. <laughs> the 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 uh, I keep wanting to say the sheriff, but it's it's not the sheriff; it's the chief. <laughs> a major plot change from the yep. other movie. <laughs> and uh, the sheriff is like, Mabel Osborne, we got to convince everyone it was a heart attack. And, yeah, take um, her out back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, why though? Like, it. I'm. It's a, It seems like a small town, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and it was covered up. So, like, who knows? Yeah, like if they're gonna say it was a heart attack and she's covered, like, it, then people will they'll believe anything. Like, who? Why yeah, is it now? But I don't even. I never saw one person walking around the streets other than the characters. That's movie. true. It wasn't That's like it's New York City where there's like <laughs> tons of people walking around. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I saw no extras. <laughs> this that whole is, movie. 
That is true. That is weird, actually. That you <laughs> mentioned that. Like, not a single person. Like, even when, like, Patty and, and Sarah were on the oh. sidewalk. The only extras were the end of the movie. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, they kind of blew their load there. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> that was right? everybody. <laughs> that was <it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's a good point. Oh. They really didn't need to take the body out back, but they they did, and and oh, everyone yeah. just listens to the to the chief like, oh okay, we'll cover yes. up this. Oh yeah, for you, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about that extras is, is they didn't even he was talking to nobody because they didn't even show them. Like it was me. funny because like they could <laughs> at least show like paramedics or something. No one. It was just him talking off camera. Oh, wait, so those dudes were off screen when he said yes. that stuff? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I don't even, yes. I didn't even know that. I, yes. Uh, so what the, why? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was talking to the camera. Because those guys actually do show up to remove the body. So like they could have easily been talking I'm to him. I'm pretty sure I couldn't be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that <laughs> they were just, he was just talking to them. Like that's so stupid. It's a camera. Yeah, <laughs> he's telling us. <laughs> he's like breaking the fourth wall. And I swear, everybody, <laughs> you will, everyone at home, better do the same. <laughs> well, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, Unless they're like barely shown, and like like their backs were shown, maybe that's it. Sure. But. They just did a really poor job of like framing everything. It could have showed the faces. At least they did not show the faces of the paramedics. Must have been too much money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. So before they uh, bring him the body off screen, he does reach inside because he notices a card. Just happens to see yeah. a card in there and reaches in with his bare hands. <laughs> 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 Fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah so then there's a message on there about the dance and it's like if you hold the other dance they they tried to be clever with the rhyme i can't remember what it was but it's like i don't know if you have a if you have the dance twice there'll be murders thrice or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they basically yeah they they call the dance off they make the decision to call it off oh, yeah. actually and so um there's a bunch of people um, waiting outside of the VFW That's hall. And he's like, sorry, it. kids, no dance, no parties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. And then uh, there's another quick confrontation um, at uh, the, the mine between Axel and, and TJ. And mm-hmm. um TJ quickly, it's kind of actually more physical this time. There's like kind of some pushing and shoving because Axel wants oh, yeah. TJ to do shit work. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, after that whole thing, TJ rushes home before everyone else and picks up <laughs> Sarah. I wouldn't even say pick up. I would no. say kidna- kidnaps. <laughs> That's fair. Sarah. Yeah. Pick up. I don't want to go in there. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, that was what it was. <laughs> that is it, yeah. I mean, I don't want to go too bad, and like pushes her head into the car. It was insane. <laughs> it, yeah, it was. It was a. Uh, it was a kidnapping. You're right. I mean, the only thing that like really made it like somewhat light was that there was like one little giggle from Sarah. Right. I yeah. Like she was like, ah, ha, ha. but it could have been nervous yeah. laughter too. Yeah. So like, I mean, ah, I'm gonna go <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah yeah it was pretty fucked up (laughs) Um, but yeah so so um they they go to like a romantic spot i guess it's the most romantic spot they could think of in nova scotia because i mean it was still pretty dreary (laughs) i mean it's a lake but the rest of it kind of looks like a wasteland (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but it is Canada. I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. Whole places like that, I'm sure. No, it's not. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it's but beautiful. The mining areas are not, not so no. great, I'm sure. No. But, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's like their first spot, I think, that they like went on a date or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> There's some lore. Were, uh, something like that. Yeah. And I wrote, you know... There was this was a surprisingly moving scene. 
I thought this was actually really well acted by the both of them. Like Sarah was like l- crying and she was like legitimately hurt Sarah, by the fact that she, that, that he took I'm off. Sorry. And then TJ actually seemed genuinely sorry. I mean, sorry, I, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, I definitely. <laughs> the, I love the accents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I really did feel that. I don't know. I was, I was moved. <laughs> I was moved, eh? <laughs> yeah, you were moved. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was a good scene. <laughs> all, all her feelings just rushed back. They did. Yeah, I mean, and she, she, to her credit too, didn't she kind of say like, "What was I supposed to do?" Yes. So it's not like she was just like suddenly like a switch was flipped and she was like, no. oh, I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there that's was why like, he said, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and again, though, they really don't explain why he went to the West Coast anyways. I mean, do they? <laughs> no. He's kind of just like, I don't know. Like, I thought there was opportunity or something, but then, like, he goes on to say, like, um, I mean, I really don't even know. Like, it all fell apart or something there. Like, (laughs) (laughs) it's just weird. (laughs) It doesn't really, they don't really bother to explain. And I guess since it's an 80s slasher film, like, do we care? I guess not. No. No. (laughs) We just want to see some violence. But thanks to the MPAA, we don't even get that shit either. (laughs) (laughs) All right. But yeah, so so then later that night, uh, Sarah's walking home, and she's talking to herself like, "Oh, Sarah, you have, what are you doing?" <laughs> oh, this is a good scene too. I like it. Yeah, this is um. So the this what happens? Well, she's just walking alone. Like I don't know why. Oh, this was. Are you talking about the scene where she was walking alone? Mm-hmm. So like he, TJ went back to the bar. I don't understand. He didn't give a shit at all about Sarah. And Sarah's just walking alone for some reason. And she's like freaking out, scared. And right. like TJ's like, uh, to uh, what is Axel? He's like, it's not my fault. My, like, not my problem. Oh, yeah. Like, for Sarah. Yeah. And Sarah's like scared shitless, like walking home to her, like <laughs> back to her place. Yeah, that is weird. He kidnapped I mean, her. Didn't even, <laughs> didn't even decide to like drive her home. He just dropped her off in the middle of nowhere. He said, "Good luck." <laughs> so that was yeah. really funny to me. That's um, a good point. Like, what were yeah. the events in between? Like, right? We, like, <laughs> I don't remember. They had such a romantic moment, yeah. and then you're on your own, eh? I'm gonna go get <laughs> shit faced. <laughs> Did she just leave her at the mountain? And go, <laughs> go to the bar. <laughs> Not my problem. Actually, yeah. that's yours. That's so funny. Yeah, like what? That's so w- weird. So she was scared shitless, and then like all of a sudden she got a fa- flashlight in the face by the sheriff, and the sheriff's just like, "I'm just doing my daily <laughs> patrol." <laughs> yeah, I always about like this. <laughs> yeah, sorry to scare you, but I mean. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a just your friendly neighborhood officer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That was a good scene though. Cause it was like the first like uh jump scare, but like red herring, like not real jump scare, but like a fake jump mm-hmm. scare. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then, yeah, like you said, there's the bar trans transaction where he's mm-hmm. like, I think his exact line was like, I wasn't the one watching her or something. Or yeah, I'm not watching right. her. Yeah. Right. But uh, pretty funny, especially in that context. Like you put a lot of stuff in context for me because I, at the time, I'm just feverishly <laughs> writing notes. Like, oh, Sarah's oh, yeah. walking home. Uh, this dude's <laughs> back at the bar. So I don't really put that together. Like, yeah, yeah. oh my god, TJ just dumped her ass off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's really funny to think about, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so he's kind of a douchebag, but I yeah. guess we already knew that because he took yeah. off for like years, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so then um, the uh, they they suggest they're back at the bar. And TJ suggests that they could Hello, move the party friends. into the mine, yeah. um, and that would be a good place because they have like a little employee section. So they've got a pool table, they've got all the shit you would need for a party, and um, 
the bartender goes on another like one of his rants and <laughs> the dude i don't even know what he said but i wrote down dude in the yellow hat is fucking hilarious <laughs> so he just keeps going back at this bartender and the bartender's like asshole <laughs> you stupid how dare you tarnish the name of harry warden <laughs> you stupid prick <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember any of like what that dude said? Like, no, I, I don't. <laughs> but he was a character, man. Those everybody in this movie is like just so funny. I mean, it's <laughs> it's pretty perfect because they would act like that. I mean, if you were supposed to be like young adults and like some, mm-hmm. you know, you just all you want to oh, yeah. do is like party and get drunk and you yeah. hate authority. It's like, yeah, you would react that way. Yeah, like everything. Yeah, I mean, is like, I'm, we're gonna have a party. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy this movie you know that i just laugh about some things it is a really fun movie to watch yeah, definitely absolutely. i think it's way better than 3d that's the that's 2009 fair one. that's fair I, I i think like what's cool about it is like it's just one of those like it well you know not only does it move fast but like it, it's one of those chill movies you could like put on as like good background shit yeah like yeah yeah because you don't really i mean it's like just a very quick slasher <laughs> it is um, yeah so uh at this point the bartender tries to set up like a prank because like no one's taking anything seriously and so he puts like a fake body up and like the, like when a door opens i guess like it's supposed to like slash at them is that yep. the gist I'm yeah getting that, of that? that was yeah. just yep but then he keeps he keeps checking on it because he's like really way too <laughs> amused by this shit. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and when he finally checks it for the last time, it's the real killer. And bam, bang, gets killed. And was this? Do you know was this supposed to be extended at all? Yes. Yeah. The the uh, axe went through his eye, like eyeball came out. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh man! Yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Would have been cool to see that. Yeah. <laughs> and um that's funny if that's like if the if the actual eyeball comes because like they, they they did that in 3D mm-hmm. in, in the 3D one. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely like to do those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can we do? What can we pop out? Yeah, of right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh that was a quick kill. Um and then chief the chief gets another box of oh well this is actually a very emotional scene i i actually almost got choked up at during this because oh, no. the chief gets a box of chocolates like a legit box of chocolates yeah it, it was from mabel like oh it just says be my valentine like that's so fucking sweet <laughs> it is sweet <laughs> and so it was um really just kind of red herring and to show you like how good of a person Mabel was like makes you feel even worse that she's dead (laughs) I thought like somehow the movie was going to spare her because she was so nice Mm -hmm. and like cheery but I was like "Eh, it's it's a horror movie so maybe not yeah (laughs) no one is safe (laughs) she wasn't nope she was actually so unsafe she was the first to be killed (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right well i guess minus that other girl that was yep. hanging axel yeah, yeah um, mask fetish girl yeah <laughs> um so then uh after that scene with the chocolates uh they get the party started and they're boiling hot dogs mm, what a great mm. party treat <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <Hot dogs>. and um <laughs> It isn't long before we have our first kill in this scene, which is uh, just a random dude in the kitchen who gets his head shoved in a pot of boiling water. Mm-hmm. And I guess he drowns. This is also one that you actually like, kind of see the face like boiling. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> this one, it just like it's like he drowns them and that's it. Yeah. You know? And they really just like cut away so quickly. You you don't even yeah. you just assume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Which, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's weird. It is because you could. It wasn't even that much of a like. I only seen what you like a little bit of YouTube has shown. I haven't seen all of it, so it could be even better. So uh, that's like, cool, man. I I just, uh, I got to see the other outtakes. 
is there an actual disc version with this shit added in or is Who it just knows? Hmm. i would have to look i'm not sure that would be really cool to like see it all like intact or i don't know because i do enjoy this movie i would buy it yeah absolutely maybe they put out like some sort of like um like a blue light blue blu-ray remaster or something where they mm-hmm. like add like, like an anniversary un-edited. yeah that would be neat but uh cool well all right so in a in what could have been a better death a dude gets drowned in a pot <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right. in a pot. <laughs> um and then uh they um mm-hmm. uh chief Oh yeah, Chief sees the. This is where the dogs are like tearing up that <laughs> box outside of the yeah, uh, right. police station. And right. were they supposed to be there? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe they They're just showed up. Dogs, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, he shoes them away, and then um, this is great. I thought this was like some really um, over the top acting by the by the chief, where mm-hmm. he's he gets a note about like stop the party and he looks out into nowhere and he's like what yeah. party <laughs> that was really good <laughs> i thought that was funny too like perfect yeah it's like exactly what you want from like yes. one of these movies <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh tj and axel have another fight and uh this time it gets like pretty physical and mm-hmm. uh I think TJ is like, Sarah, why don't you tell him, huh? You want me, don't you? And then <laughs> Axel's like, what, a, what is she he talking about? And he gets a little <laughs> bit like handsy and and they get into like physical altercation. And then basically Sarah tells him to both fuck off. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, but then uh, Axel gets kicked out, right? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah, everyone's like, get out of here. It goes and cries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it certainly seems like uh, TJ's like mining buddies have a lot more like, I, I don't know, I would say affinity for, for TJ rather than Axel. Because yeah. that guy in the glasses is like, are you okay, man? Like, is everything yeah, okay? Yeah, the mustache like, guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just seems to care a lot more about TJ than Axel, so yeah, he does. which is weird because uh, TJ is the one that's been gone all those those years. Mm-hmm. We you barely see, even know him. Yeah, so you'd think it'd be the opposite. So he made quite but the impression. But his dad knows him. His dad owns the mine, mm-hmm. so maybe that's why. So he's just an ass kisser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that could be. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh yes, so now, um. Uh, Sylvia and uh, John are about to have sex and um, John runs back to go get beer and Sylvia gets killed and this is happening like in the mine shaft somewhere I'm guessing or like Uh, I think it's like pre mine shaft it's like the get ready room Oh, right. So, like, because mm-hmm. she shows off, like, the uniform shit. It was, like, all the uniforms are dropping on the ceiling, which I don't understand why they're, like, hanging from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. I don't but either. Then it's, like, <laughs> then it's, but that's, like, the pre thing. Or maybe it's, like, airing them out. I don't know. Because they're in the mine all day. But, like, right. then the, there's a shower scene. Mm-hmm. That's so, how she dies. She dies, yeah. And then I'm guessing this one was another thing that probably was. I'm so mad about this one. Oh no! This one, <laughs> this one was so short of a death scene in the movie that, like, was released. Um, this one, like, the uncut one is like just straight up, just him just shoving your face right into that shower like um pipe oh really and it's just going like ah! it's oh. like right through her mouth <laughs> and, and the the guy that i don't remember his name is like caesar and it's like just squirting blood and like the water's coming out <laughs> it's oh perfect. man that's awesome <laughs> that's too bad i 
because and like her body's like trembling. Oh my like, god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, yeah, they really went all out for this. This could have been like epic. <laughs> yeah, Holy fuck! Well, you don't know how many <laughs> probably scary movies could be epic. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Like, supposedly rated R is like back maybe back then because I feel like now rated R is really fucking gory. Like saws. Just oh yeah rough so like think about like they're just like well we can let more go mm-hmm. it's rated r if 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 their parents want to see let them see it then it is what it is because right. we saw is fucking crazy you know yeah, like, or is. like any other like there's a way more nowadays so they yeah. were just super strict back then huh i guess so i must it must have been a more like uh you know, coveted position to uphold and you really needed to like make those cuts. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yeah, it just, that's so crazy. And I guess it's like, it was a fairly new thing. I'm guessing like they weren't used Maybe. to seeing all that shit. So they're like, Oh my God. <laughs> but the sure. more desensitized people got, the more they were likely to just, like you said, like with saw just like shit, like, okay, all right. It's you people know <laughs> yeah. what they're getting. Yeah, They know yeah. exactly what they're getting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And another thing that comes to mind, like, is hostile. I mean, like the violence yeah, and that, right? Like, Jesus yeah. Christ, <laughs> that could yeah. have been a, like more than an R rating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, and not to keep mm-hmm. referencing uh, Friday the Thirteenth, but it, again, like the first one, it definitely reminds me of that because there was a lot of major cuts in that, and it's like okay. what could have been like. And um, I would have loved to see some of that Savini stuff because, like. That dude is a master of the effects. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go back to like watching like all the other Friday the 13th again. Just, just watch them again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, especially like if you love the vibe of this movie, it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of those early Friday the 13th are like just like this. <laughs> like, so I used to watch them like the marathons and I just haven't, you yeah, don't have as much time now. As yeah. you did when you were younger. So like I don't even watch the marathons anymore, but I gotta watch them again. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. At least just watch once a one a week or something. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time for sure. Um and I wish they would still do those marathons on TV. They right? don't really do those that often. It's no. I mean, I could think back, even like the last like last friday the 13th we had which was in january i scanned every network and the only no, network that was really? doing it was, was stars that's a, crazy. A premium yeah. i remember watching on it was cable but it wasn't like you know it still was still yeah. could watch it yeah it was awesome <laughs> mm-hmm. i yeah it was great yeah and like i was I, it spike tv i think maybe I think Spike did it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think for a while, AMC used to do it too. AMA, AMC. Yeah. Nope. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. And mm-hmm. really, we, we've we lost a lot of those glory days since cable was dying. Like, like <laughs> <I> know, right. <laughs> we'll be the old people complaining about <laughs> <laughs> things changing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But, uh, but yeah, so... Um, I, oh yeah, so this is we were talking about uh, John and his girl getting killed, and um, after John discovers the body, he gets killed pretty shortly after that. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I was wrong. He goes back to warn the others, but that doesn't happen right away. We kind of wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doesn't don't we think oh. that John gets killed? But he doesn't really, because eventually he warns the others. But that doesn't happen until like way later. I don't right? know what happens. I don't remember what happens be- between them. I don't either. I'm ha- kind of blanking on this, like because I just wrote Sylvia gets killed while waiting for John, but then the group from the the party decide to go into the mines. So we don't really know like what John is doing in between all this shit. So yeah, there you go. So then the group decides to go into the mines. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like the, like Sarah Mustache guy, the mm-hmm. funny guy. Mm-hmm. And then Mustache's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Patty, I think her name is. Patty. Yeah. Um and some other random <laughs> couple. <laughs> right? That's yeah. true, that other couple. They yeah. go in the mine and then the scene comes back to the 
party hall. And then that guy rushes in. Uh, uh, some other person rushes out from the kitchen and is like, there's someone in the freezer. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess yeah. it really isn't that big of a gap in between when he no, comes back. Okay. It's not. Okay. So and then, yeah, sorry. Then TJ was like, no, it was Axel. was like, get the fuck out of here. Harry's oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, that everyone starts uh, take it off back toward town. Mm-hmm. And th- is this the point where TJ and Axel talk about the fact that everyone's down there? Yeah. Like Axel's like, how could they, how could yeah, you let like, them go? Uh, eh, they wanted to, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So now, now I remember it. So now, and that's funny too, before, before they actually go into the mine, I wrote, uh, that Hollis is like, bring beers. <laughs> and like, that's such a Wisconsin thing, too. Oh, yeah. Bring the beers, eh? <laughs> Every, before anything, any major event, especially if we were having a party, let's get bring beers, man. We got to bring a bring beer with beers. us. Yeah. Got to bring the beers. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're, uh, everyone takes off towards town, and um, TJ and Axel head down into the mine. And what is another touching moment here where they are like, good luck, and they shake hands. Thought that was a nice little moment of like <laughs> coming together. Good moment. <laughs> and then um, the group go on a search. Oh, this point is where uh, I wrote Mike and Harriet are off trying to go have sex, and the group go look for them. Mm-hmm. And uh, we see a crazy minor guy start smashing lights out. Yep. And then. Um, the uh, small group that left into town run into the chief and they, they warn him like, Hey, shit's going down at the mine. So you should go you over to go there. To the mine. And, We're having a party uh, and Harry Warden started killing everybody. So then back at the mine, TJ runs into the group. Um, and Hollis and TJ split up and they go find, they go to look for the others. Yeah. And then eventually, well, pretty quickly, actually, Hollis finds the bodies of those other two that they were looking for. And yep. he, he is shot with, I wrote, something? <laughs> what was he, he shot, shot with? He shot with a nail gun. Ah, okay. Okay. So he that- shot once, like, right here. And then, like, somehow that doesn't stop him. <laughs> so then the guy <laughs> shoots him right here. Uh-huh. And then somehow he just stumbles back and then dies in front of the group. Right. Like around the corner. He just pops yeah. Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is pretty bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Did they use a nail gun in the 09 version? Not that I know of. But I, I could be wrong. Wrong? Okay. I don't I didn't, I didn't I thought- really watch too much of the recap of the like, Oh nine one, a little bit of it, but not all of it. Sure, I thought you'd do a side by side comparison. Damn it! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I didn't even like. I didn't even really do anything in terms of like <laughs> recap. I'm just trying to remember what I did, like based on when we did yeah, our I'm show. Her. But uh, if they didn't, they should have, because that is a cool way to take someone out. Even right? though I couldn't identify what it was at the moment, but uh, <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Um, do you have any insights as to that scene? Was there anything cut out from there? Okay. No, I don't think so. Okay. Maybe maybe it was like a gun that you didn't see. I I was like, what the hell? I think I rewinded it because I didn't know what he was killed by. And I was like, oh, it's a nail gun. Yeah. They show it like on screen for about two seconds when he's like loading it up, I think. And then I just, yeah. yeah. So I think dark. that was I think that was quick as well. But like for like the the couple, it might have been too gory for even like the I don't know because that was just not, that was just the same, I think. Sure. It was like a corkscrew they were like impaled by or something. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. So uh um I wrote Howard does the sensible thing and just runs away. And I mean, I would probably do the same. What yeah. about you? Yeah. I would. 
Because I mean, if they're not going to come after like the second or third time you yell, I'm sorry, girls, you're on your own. Right. (laughs) (laughs) And we we really don't know what happens to Howard because that's kind of the last time we see him, I think. I mean, what? Howard, that dude that just takes off. Like, we don't see him again at the end, do we? Until he dies. Does he die? When does he die? So they all get they all go to the mine elevator. Oh, okay. And they're, yep. and they're like, no, it's the, the the guy destroyed it. So they start climbing it. The first one is TJ that climbed it. Then it's that red dress. What is her name? Patty. Patty. Yeah. Who was just freaking out because her boyfriend just died. Uh huh. And just like in a panic and won't fucking move. And then there's Sarah and then I guess whatever, um, Axel. Uh huh. And then <laughs> for some, and they're, they're like halfway up by now. And then the body comes down and that is. That's Howard. That's Howard. Okay. That's. And, in like the, I think the unedited version, like I think you just see the body come out, but the unedited version, it's like you see his head, like decapitated. Maybe Holy that's fuck. why you probably didn't know. <laughs> Jeez, that's well, probably why you didn't know that. But like, um, yeah, that's what. And then for fucking some reason, they just stop <laughs> going up. Like, there's no reason they should have stopped. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. who gives a fuck? Like, yeah. My maybe thoughts exactly. Maybe they, you know, maybe they thought like, oh, like maybe he's up there, but like, staying the mine isn't mine isn't better, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, so, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Okay. So, so then they work their way back down. I'll let you figure. It. Well, yeah. I mean, I was just going to comment too about the body being dropped because I did have, I have, I had some notes about that. I guess I just didn't realize it was Howard, um, but. Thanks for clarifying clarifying oh, yeah. that. No worries. <laughs> Cuz yeah, I don't know why he was there. They didn't never told us like how he found like caught him and just decided to just decapitate him. Yeah, but they didn't with fill- a rope. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really fill that in very quickly. And and knowing that it was Axel, I mean it just happened very quickly. I mean Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh but yeah, so <laughs> What I wrote down, what's funny about when the body drops is they actually play a noise from, well, I don't know if it's exactly taken from it, but like it's a Jason noise because like it goes like, (laughs) (laughs) and like that's exactly the noise you hear like when in some of the Friday 13th movies. Mm -hmm. Um, And I don't even think, I mean, the first Friday 13th was like 80, I think. So okay. obviously I don't think they like ripped the noise off, but uh, <laughs> it's just uh, very similar. <laughs> oh, that's something I got to say. Also, I loved about this is like just how I forgot how, because it's been a while since I watched like eighties movies, like how exaggerating they are on like sounds, mm-hmm. like the squealing of the tire, like, breaks and all like the punches and the, yeah. the scenes yeah it's just so funny like uh <laughs> it's like you don't know that they're punching like you have to make that mm-hmm. sound mm-hmm. it's so funny yeah and it's like someone uh like pre or post recorded and it's like oh, a yes. completely different item right it's being, yes like, it is yeah yeah <laughs> that's pretty funny i did notice that <laughs> it's so funny um so yeah, like you said, they go back down the ladder for whatever reason. <laughs> right. And uh they start to head another direction and um we're led to believe that Axel falls in the water. Like uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like 60 feet or something down. So mm-hmm. it's like nothing I can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help him. I ain't a like Olympic swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh so then TJ and the girls continue. And then TJ disappears randomly. And this is so weird. So Patty gets killed. And what I'm assuming is another cut thing, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Um, but then Sarah just like walks away. <laughs> She's just like, ah, oh, Patty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, it was just really strange. And for whatever reason, the killer just like 
doesn't follow her. Well, we know why, but um, yeah, the audience at home at the time doesn't know. And so it's yeah. just bizarre to see Sarah basically just, yeah, walk. She walks away. I mean, it's fucking strange. It is. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. Maybe Sarah, like, wait, not Sarah, but Becky. Where's Pat- Betty? Patty? Patty? Patty. Patty. <laughs> oh, Patty. Yeah. Was like holding on to the axe. Okay. I don't know if that was in the scene or not, but uh-huh. she was holding on to the axe for a long time. So, so maybe that helped her out on getting away. So she just thought she had more time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I, at least that's yeah. some, some sort of an explanation. <laughs> I mean, I would have at least, I, I would have liked if she just it was, it was, I don't even remember it being like even brisk. I thought it was just like a, I don't know, very, very, very slow paced, but whatever. <laughs> okay. I could put, I can look, I could overlook that. Oh, yeah. Um, um, so then we, uh, the police finally arrive as uh, she runs back into TJ. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And TJ's bleeding from the head for some reason. No yeah. idea why. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so then TJ and Sarah get on a cart while being chased by. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. I love that scene. It is so stupid. <laughs> It really was. I mean, <laughs> it was like the most slowest paced. Like, like oh, I'm gonna get after you. Like, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, dude. I wrote like, my exact words were slow. It looks like why is this going in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I know. I guess it, I know it's like must, it must have been hard to coordinate that stuff. And like they really mm-hmm. did shoot it. Yeah. A, real, a real mine. That's crazy. Cool. But like, that is awesome. Yeah. But like, yeah, I just, it does seem like they could have coordinated it a little quicker. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but yeah, definitely. I, I picked up on that too. It was very slow, very funny. Um, and then we get to the big reveal it's, uh, it's Axel. And they show a really, really quick flashback where he's a child and he watches his dad get murdered. <laughs> I mean, I still like that, like, you know. Like, I, I thought that was pretty good. It was. Like, yeah. Oh, that's why he did that. You know. Mm-hmm. I agree. So I kind of like. I like that they did that. Yeah, that was cool. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't like overly drawn out or anything. And it was, no, it was reasonable. It was very reasonable. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, this one's different. I mean, obviously different. It was the first, but, um, do you recall the ending of the Oh nine one at all? Um, no, not really. Okay. Because I think if I remember correctly, they, they kind of have the buildup where you think it could be either of the guys at any point. Okay. And it's it's revealed that I thought in the other one it's actually TJ who's the killer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is, is it? Was it? Let me look remember. it up really quick just to be sure. Be, I because I thought remember they do like the whole flashback thing where it's like you it's like revealed over time where it's like oh TJ's getting inside the cage by himself and locking himself. Oh in. yeah. Remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you think there's a killer the whole time, but it's really he's been that dude. Oh yeah, so, you're right. I think they kind of do a switcheroo in the 09 version. Um, my bloody Valentine. We can cut this out if we have to, if it drags on. But, uh, <laughs> let's see. So, um, plot. So, at a. Oh, well, they call him Tom in the other one. But Axel and, and Megan are the other characters. Or no, Sarah. Really? Axel they and call Sarah. Him Tom? Yeah, they call him Tom in the other one. Oh, that's dumb. That is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Tom hallucinates at the end, revealing the miner is his split personality. So that's where they kind of change it up a little bit for the uh, 09 oh, version. God. But split personality. So I guess they had to put a little creative spin on it, which. 
maybe was a surprise at the time. I don't even remember if it was surprising when we watched it, but um, I would have to say I like this version too. I like, I agree with you. And I, I really, I like this version a lot more probably. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I, well, mm-hmm. maybe not a lot more, um, but I like I, it. I more. mean, I, I like the more, I mean, I still like the other one mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess to kind of wrap things up here, you know, the killer, we get the killer reveal and then TJ collapses the mine and they think that Axel is dead and um, all the police and like he said, all the million extras show up. They blow their load yep. on extras. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, they kind of reveal to everybody that it was Axel and Next thing you know, Axel is still alive. <laughs> this I, I thought this was pretty stupid. It was hilarious. <laughs> I just, uh, you remember I don't know the, what he said? Yeah, no I don't idea. remember. But he's kind of like maniacally laughing, and he just like disappears into right? the line. <laughs> he's like the Joker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think one of the lines is like. Um, you want to be my bloody Valentine, Sarah? Or something. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, he just like laughs, and the, he continues to laugh as the credits start to roll. Right, it is so funny. <laughs> yeah, that was a great ending. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it could have potentially set up for a sequel because he's still alive and he just disappears. Right. <laughs> it's really bizarre. They should do it. They should. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I would love to see that. I mean, all those guys are probably still around. Actually, I did find a fun fact about the dude who played Axel is that yeah, yeah, yeah. He he became an animator for the Simpsons. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and a director for a ton of other things. Yeah. Like so that's Phineas and Ferb. Oh, really? I didn't he know. He was that. the director for that. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of that's cool, man. I mean, um, yeah, I don't really know about these other people, but that was, uh, yeah, me neither. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, but yeah, so my point is, though, they're probably all mostly still around. I mean, the movie wasn't that long ago. So w- let's see a sequel, guys. Get, yeah, only 30 the... some years ago. Come on. Yeah. It's not that long. <laughs> yeah. Actually, 40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we should right, do right. a fan film. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so and that end credit song was pretty groovy too. Mm-hmm. It was it like was. a folk song about Harry Warden. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's really uh, strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so all right. Well, hell yeah, moments. Um, why don't you start this time? Let me think about this one. Okay. Do you want me to start? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. No. No. <laughs> no. My hell yeah moment. Okay. Is the shower, like the one chick that got just taken by like her throat and pretty much just stabbed in the, like back her head in the shower. That was pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. It was a good hell song. Yeah. Good scene. Hell yeah. I'm I okay right on I like the way that it was shot like prior to her mm-hmm. death where it's like kind of yeah. like first person and like it's just mm-hmm. the camera's moving the in. whole scene yeah it was yeah. cool yeah right on um okay well I funny enough this is real you're gonna think this is ridiculous but I wrote my favorite was actually the body drop even though I didn't even know it was that dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so, a good one though I mean I knew that there was a body dropping I just didn't realize it was him for some reason I guess I must have been like <laughs> writing shit or something but oh it's all um, good <laughs> yeah I did like it I mean it was cool that happened and as you said since there was more to it I bet it would have even been even more of a hell yeah like to see him get oh, yeah. decapitated like wow hell yeah <laughs> so now you gotta see it yeah go on YouTube and just look over okay yeah my bloody valentine 2000, I mean, 2009, <laughs> uh, 1981. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 81. Like outtakes, maybe. I okay. Yeah, I will I have to look that up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was mine. And then uh, final rating, what do you got? 
I would say five bloody Valentine. Holy fuck. You really like this. Out of ten. No, I'm just kidding. I have five. <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I loved it. It was good. It kept my interest. Cool. Even though I already saw like the 2009, I didn't even think about this. Like it was a re- like a a remake, mm-hmm. and I really enjoyed it. It was good. Okay, right on, man. Um, I'm gonna say, wow, I feel like I'm being a little harsh now, though. Now that you gave it like such <laughs> glowing, <just> <laughs> <laughs> I, but no, I, I mean, I really did like it too. Um, but uh, I just, uh, I, I originally I wrote three and a half, but I'm gonna bump it up to four. I'm gonna go. All right, f- yeah. Four human hearts in a box out of five. <laughs> I might be just uh, over exaggerating here, to be honest, but it was good. Yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, you could, you know, if you want to give for a, a five, Valentine's or... Day thriller, is that's totally five out of five right there. Yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, and I mean, I, I guess the only thing that would like keep me from really putting it over the edge would be like some of the stuff I thought was like a little bit overacted and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I, I mean, I agree. It was a great movie. I had a great time with it. And I was, I was pleasantly surprised by a lot of the stuff in there. Um, yeah. And I, uh, I thought it moved really well too. And um, yeah, got a lot of great moments, and it definitely one of those things I could see myself like rewatching and like you know putting on around the season. So yeah, if you want to pick it up, this is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can get it real cheap right now. Yeah, you can at Walmart. <laughs> I'm glad uh, we didn't accidentally pick up the other version because they were right next to each other. At least right? at my local Walmart, <laughs> I only had one left at mine. Oh really? Like, oh fuck yeah. Nice. Maybe there's going to be a lot of interest then. Uh, maybe people will be searching this movie out and looking up our review. <laughs> Let's do it. So, all right. Well, um, I guess that's going to do it unless you've got any uh, more trivia or anything. I don't have anything. Okay. Well, I don't either. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. Um, it was fun. We'll have to uh, stick to our guns and try to do that uh, other dude's movie. Uh, I think it was called Trick. Yep, Trick. Maybe, maybe that'll yeah, be the I'll next one. Yeah. All right. So until next time, uh, that's it for the Freaky Film Club. And uh, yeah, see you later. See ya. Freaky Film Club off. <laughs>